All right, thanks for watching, and let's calculate infinity band. So, what is infinity bang? Well, first of all, let's figure out what seven bang is. So all it is, it's the number of ways of shuffling around seven people where no one gets matched to itself. So think, for instance, students grading each other's papers. You don't want a student to grade their own paper or um, for Secret Santa, where people get each other's gifts, you don't want to get your own gift. So for instance, a derangement here would be two, three, seven, five, one, um, four, and six, for instance, where really everyone gets shuffled around. And moreover, what we found in previous videos, it's a very nice formula for Dang M, Namely, dang n is just n factorial times the sum from k from 0 to n of minus 1 to the k over k factorial. So, for instance, 7 bang would be 7 factorial and then 1 over 0 factorial minus 1 over 1 factorial plus 1 over 2 factorial. Da, 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 and then minus 1 over 7 factorial, which is 1854. But that's not what we're here today. So today we're here to calculate infinity band, which technically it's a silly question because there are infinitely many ways of rearranging infinite objects, even making sure that no one gets matched to itself. But what we will calculate here, however, is the more interesting question, how does this relate to permutations? So in other words, let's not calculate infinity band, but infinity band over infinity factorial. And for this, let's calculate the n band over n factorial. So in other words, among all the permutations of n people, how many of those are derangements? So how many of those do we make sure that no one gets matched to itself? Well, now we can use a formula. So this is n factorial times the sum from k from 0 to n of minus 1 to the k over k factorial over n factorial. Now the n factorials gets canceled out, and then what we're left with is the sum from k from 0 to n of minus 1 to the k over k factorial. And now the question is, what happens if we let n go to infinity here? Well, then what we get is the following. So, infinity band over infinity factorial becomes the sum from 0 to infinity of minus 1 to the k over k factorial. And well, this should hopefully remind you of the power series of e to the x. Because e to the x, that's the sum from 0 to infinity of x to the n over or x to the k over k factor. And so really the answer here becomes with x equals minus 1, that is e to the minus 1. So in other words, 1 over e. In other words, how many permutations are derangements? Roughly 1 over e of them. I forgot the exact number, but I think it's like 0.38 or something. Someone else can check this for me. But in any case, the cool thing is, who would have thought that E appears all of a sudden in those arrangements? All right, I hope you like this. And if you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.